Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to implement a middleware to validate request body that we get from the request. We will validate the input data like email, name, username and password. In last video we created the error handler middleware. I have added a new if check for syntax error as you can see. Let's see what we already have, by running the server and sending some test requests. We've removed the value for name field in body, and the new syntax error check, that we added should return us error for wrong formatting. and it is working. Now for this video, we have to install Express Validator package for validating the request body. You do that by command npm install Express Validator. Now in middleware folder, create a new file called validateinputs.js. And now we are importing body function to access the request body. And validation rules result for set the result after validating the data. First we are creating the rules for validating the input data. Here we are now using express validators body method to access property of request body. And we use methods to validate that property value. Name for the method is self-explanatory. As not empty method means that the value for that body property value should not be empty. And with message method will add an error message to indicate the error related to property. Like here it will add message if name field is empty. Same is for other methods. And we are chaining the methods together. Now let's do the same for every property of the request body.
Now we create a function to catch the error of after validation of the request body and send the response to the client if there is any error. Else we go on to next middleware. Now let's use the middleware before registering the user. Now let's test this. We got this error because we did not exported the middleware. So let's do that. Let's test it again. And it works as in response we have got list of validation errors. Let's test again if there is no error, what happens? We got duplicate key error because email is already registered. That means validation works.